so this is a really good question. And in my line of work, I do have a lot of people who are asking us if they have a bed bug issue before they're really sure whether or not they have one. Sometimes it can be that they've received a bite or that they had a friend call them and say that they had bed bugs at their place. And so people a lot of the time will ask us, how can I tell on my own whether or not I have bed bugs? And there are a few tried and true methods. Bed bugs are very difficult to locate visually on your own, but there are signs that you can look for. First and foremost are bites, of course. Bed bugs tend to bite multiple times and they tend to bite in patterns, either clustered or in a row. And so if you find yourself getting multiple bites at a time, a couple of days apart, sort of like clockwork, that might be an indication that you need to look further into the issue. Additional signs, if you already are receiving bites and are looking for physical evidence, the best thing to do is to look at your bed. Bed bugs are quite lazy and want to stay really close to their food source, usually within six feet or so. So look around where you're spending a lot of time in your home, which is usually your bed and your couch, and look at all of the furniture within a six foot radius from that point. So you should look at your mattress. Bed bugs really appreciate being able to tuck into edges. So if your mattress has piping or seams or a mattress tag, look in these areas, both for either bed bugs or you can look for fecal staining. Fecal staining is a really good indicator of bed bug presence. And a lot of people will send us all kinds of images of different kinds of stains that are not bed bug staining. So let me be very clear on what bed bug staining looks like. Imagine if you take a black regular ballpoint pen and cracked it open and flicked some ink out. Ink splatter, the really small droplets, looks very similar to bed bug fecal matter. It's almost always going to be completely round and circular in shape, and it's always going to be black because it is processed blood. So if you're seeing anything that's yellow, green, brown, anything else, and if you see it in large, irregular patterning, that's not bed bug fecal matter. It is 100 out of 100 going to be sort of black spotted areas. It might have a tail or a comet to it if it's been smudged, but for the most part, you're looking for those black speckles. If you don't see anything on your mattress, the next step would be to remove your mattress and look at your bed frame. Bed bugs really appreciate the texture of wood. So the places we find them most are in the bolt holes where the framing is assembled. So if you have a flashlight or even if you use your flashlight on your phone, you can look carefully at where the bolt holes are for the screws that hold your bed together. And if you can't find anything in any of those areas, you're in the clear. Bed bugs, even at their smallest point, are visible to the naked eye. And so with very careful visual inspections, you can determine on your own whether or not bed bugs are present in your home. Mm -hmm.